You guys got here so quick. I'm doing I'm doing audio checks. <laughs> Wait, no. I have to update my stupid switch. I'll update it later. I want to play Mario Kart. Hi guys. Do 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 do. How we doing? Hi Chip. Hi Keelan. Can we get some yos? Man, for once Keelan wasn't first. Take the L. Showtime demo? I still gotta play with my sister. And uh, you know what? I think I will play Pinch the Peach Showtime on stream. I'll probably just marathon it, like beat it in two days. Because I looked it up and it said it takes about 10 to 8 hours to beat. And allegedly, it's like a little baby game. So I'll buy it in April. Maybe we'll do it for my birthday. Wait, that that would be the whole 12 hour stream though. Um. Wait, what's my pin chat say? Guys, exclamation point drama in chat. Huge drama. No! Twitch updated their TOS! No! They literally just updated like a minute ago. Starting Friday, March 29th, content that focuses on intimate body parts for a prolonged period of time will not be allowed. No! Not Amaret! <laughs> did, did you guys see? Was it like a week or two ago where like... The girlies were wearing like green leggings? So that way they'd chroma key it out and then they put the gameplay gameplay on their ass. <laughs> I remember seeing clips. It was crazy. I know they're farming, but it was so funny. I saw it on Twitter and I was like, huh, dude, you know, get the bag. I it's just funny. <laughs> I mean, th this too always kind of makes sense for them to clarify. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, guys, Mario Kart. Their opening statement is, Our community guidelines are designed to help make Twitch a welcoming place. When I saw that, I was like, oh my god. Are they banning the queers? I go, Bobo! <laughs> Get baited. <laughs> Rolling eyes emoji. Hi, guys. Okay, that's the bit for today. We gotta bait everybody to typing in chat, okay? <laughs> Man, it's been so long since I played Mario Kart. It's been like two weeks. <clears throat> Not Pokemon, I know, right? Guys, one more minute, one more minute. I'm still posting, then I'm live. While you're waiting, um, go like my new tweet. You're a fake fan if you don't. And we'll be keeping record. I just realized I'm live early. It's 10.55. Guys, what if I started doing like a 10 minute starting soon screen? Would you cancel me? I already think 5 minutes is kind of long. But the only reason why I do 5 minutes is because like, then the ads are done. And then I post that I'm live. And usually I get that done in 5 minutes. Unlike today. Guys, 6 minutes in. 3, 2, 1. Everything works. Hello? 
Good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. It is Wednesday, March 27th, 10.55 a.m. I'm live a little bit early, and yes, my camera is flipped. I flipped it yesterday. I think this looks fine. Also, I'm in 30 frames per second. I hate it. Yet, wait, I gotta turn the music down. Sorry. That should be more chill. We had Keelan Kobobo and Chip in the starting screen. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. Any updates? Yesterday went to Peace Lock. I did not beat the fourth gym, not because I was scared, but it's because leveling is going to take a long time because I don't have any water Pokemon. So we'll continue that tomorrow. But today, to take a little break from Pokemon because, you know, my fingers are sore. That's a joke for later. No spoilers. <laughs> Um, we're gonna be doing some Mario Kart. Classic piece in stream today. Maybe a few hours of Mario Kart until I get a headache. And you know what? I got two cue cards. Wait, it's flipped. That guys can't get spoiled. I got lots of little stories and jokes for you guys. Also, huge drama, exclamation point, drama in chat, everybody. And yeah, that's the plan for today. Also, if I get first, chat gets a sub, but I forgot that this still applies so hopefully i don't get first today or should i just like not make it count no but it'll count i don't want to i'll just throw on purpose mm-hmm mm -hmm. also i'm wearing my uh i don't know what this is called it's not a, i almost said kimono but it's not a kimono i don't want to get in trouble okay anything else anything else I went grocery shopping this morning, and it was really chill. I got in and out in like 30 minutes. Wild. That's my day, everybody. <laughs> Let's play some freaking Mario Kart. Man, it's been so long. Oh, also, I'm debating. There was a stream I did like almost three years ago, back when I first started streaming. It was the stream concept of I reset if I get first. There's actually like... I'll do versus. There's actually like um Peach cause women's month. There's a YouTube video of it. And wait, I, I'm sorry, I need to get this set up and then I'll start yapping. Let's do eight races with computers. No, let's do six and then we'll do online. I gotta get my rank up. There's a video, my like my first or my second ever YouTube video on my channel is I reset if I don't get first. Guys, go subscribe. And the concept was, I played through all 48 tracks. Oh, it's random. Oh, I thought I was going to pick them. Lamau. <laughs> um, so it's all 48 tracks, but I reset the run if I don't get first. So it's essentially doing the actual 200cc speed run. And I didn't do it, because it's genuinely very hard to do. And I was thinking about it. I was like, man, I haven't done that run in, like, almost three years. Should I do it again? But then I was thinking about it. Doing all 48 tracks, like, just playing on my own, took nearly three hours. So if I was to do a reset if I don't get first attempt, that would be a subathon, you know? I'm debating if I want to do it again. I just need to, like, get really good at Mario Kart, that way I never get last. Or, like, second, even. Oh, that, that'd be- that'd be a- that'd be a horrible stream. <laughs> that was my banana peel. I went and bought eggs because Easter? Wait, watch this. Watch this. End me. At least I destroyed the blue shell. Uh oh, I'm the fourth. See, like stupid shit like this would happen and then I'd have to reset my run. See, and then I would get mad and then I have to start over again. I don't, okay, maybe I actually don't want to do the reset run. Oh man, I'm debating. That would, that would legit be like a six hour stream minimum. Because I think the last time I attempted that, I did it over the course of, like, two different days. And then I stopped after, like, a total of six hours. Over two days. Wait, actually, 
Sub goal. A million subs and I'll do it. Just kidding. I don't know if I'm gonna do any Easter streams this year. Mainly because, like, Easter lands on- <laughs> Lands on the final day of March, which feels, like, way too early, you know what I mean? And then also, like, e Easter one of the is one of those very, like, kiddie holidays. Because, you know, Halloween, like, you, adults, it's still fine if you dress up, you go to a house party, and then you smash everyone. Like, that's normal, but for Easter, it's like, Easter egg hunt, candy baskets, and that's it. And then maybe taking a picture with the creepy guy in the bunny suit. And last year we did eggs. I don't want to do eggs again. But eggs? I can't eat the eggs though now. You guys know I can't eat eggs anymore. And nobody else in the house really likes eggs. Because whenever I buy eggs, they nobody ever eats them. So we'd have to throw them away. And like, I don't want to get cancelled for throwing food away. It was really funny though, because... When we decorated eggs last year, I had a stake to where if I got a gifted sub, I would break an egg. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's a video on my Twitter somewhere of me smashing an egg in my driveway. <laughs> oh my god, I'm in first! Man, Mario Kart is so fun. This- do this hits. I've been itching to play. I think it's weird how Americans decorate eggs. We just do chocolate eggs here. That's... That's interesting. You would think that us Americans would want more sweets. I'm convinced that us decorate... Why am I jumping so high? I never hit the ceiling on that part. Anyway. I'm convinced that Big Egg... I'm convinced that Big Egg lobbied to make all the kids decorate eggs. Conspiracy. Maybe because like eggs represent fertility? Dude, how am I not getting first? I hate this game. Also, I just heard my sister get out of her room. I think I woke her up. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> Oopsie. Hi, Ryan. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Not big egg. More like- what? I don't get it. Explain. <laughs> I'm just waking up. I say that, but I've been up since like 6 o'clock. I was watching Sea Dog stream last night, and I stayed up till midnight. I'm not a late riser. I gotta wake up. Super early. I love the chat. <laughs> Just laughing at the idea of a big egg? Okay. <laughs> I thought it went over my head, you know what I mean? Because I like to think I get most every pun, but sometimes it just doesn't register. Watch this. <gasps> that would have been- <gasps> I think I have frantic items on. Creo que si. Who's so frantic items? <laughs> okay, that was an insane line. Not- not great. My clocks go forward an hour on Sunday, so no more hour streams. Get back to work, Keelan. No more overtime for you. You know, I have my own video game now. Everybody best be treating me with respect. Do you think they would be- oh fuck. Do you think if the Peach game was a platformer, people would have liked it more? Because it's just like a Yoshi's Island, right? It's a puzzle game, but for babies. Th that's what I think, because I've seen like little snippets muted. I haven't listened to any of the music from the game. Because I want to, like, experience that for the first time with you guys. Dude, I'm in second! Dude. 
Buying Easter eggs makes me feel broke because there's some for three pounds, but then fancy ones go for 15 pounds. What? Those are supposed to be some cage-free eggs you're buying. 15 pounds? That's like a 500% price increase. All we got here is just normal as eggs, cage-free that probably aren't actually cage-free. And then, like, Egg decorating kits. I did walk through the seasonal section at the store today, and I debated if I, like, genuinely really wanted to get an Easter egg kit, but it's like, nah. Oh, how- oh yeah, I forgot, you, you literally said, like, a minute ago that you guys have chocolate eggs. Fuck! I- I swore because I messed up the joke, not that I got hit by a shell. Also, I feel like my voice sounds weird today, type 1 if you agree. It sounds like muted. Wait, am I muted? No. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Guys, April Fools is next Monday. This Monday. <laughs> Hi, hacker. Can we get some yos? Hi, Electra. Wait, why is everybody clocking in now? What the hell? You guys are late, but I'm also early. Okay, I'm not paying attention to the game. I need to actually start gaming. What was I saying? I was like, <laughs> lock in. Okay, I'll lock in. This is my gamer posture. Ready? <laughs> Dude, my lines are horrible. <laughs> Clippers, don't clip. Oh, boob off. I'm locking in. I lost so much acceleration there. Shit. Oh no! <laughs> this isn't even online and you're doing bad? Dude, I haven't played Mario Kart for like almost three weeks. <laughs> you did not lock in. Okay, look, I'm in second though. Oh, first! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm warming up, okay? Okay, would you guys rather me yap and be funny or be good at game? <laughs> Ew, cheese land. I'm literally getting all the tracks that I don't like. <clears throat> anyway, I forgot what I was yapping about earlier. <laughs> Both? <laughs> Okay, if you're gonna say both, I want you to click go live right now. Boot up Mario Kart. And try to riff rap with like five to ten chatters at once. And people say streaming is an easy job. I almost said why not both Dos Equis, but that's like the wrong commercial. Dos Equis is the alcohol. I'm thinking of the soft and hard shell commercial. Like that's, that's two totally different things. Watch this. First place, suckers. Look at that. See, I am good at Mario Kart. Okay, I hate this track, but the music is actually really good. I usually don't, like, listen to Mario Kart music, but I have my TV up, like, two volumes higher than I normally do, so, like, I can actually hear the game. Peach game is out? Yeah, it came out last week. I haven't played it yet, because I, I legit forgot about it. <sighs> the speedrun I watched did not speak at all. See? See? Boy! No, I didn't redeem in time. Okay, not redeeming kind of made me block the blue shell. I mean, it just depends on, like, what type of content you like. Like, do you want... To watch somebody who's like really good at something? Because that's like spectacle in its own right. Or do you want to watch something that is like more commentary focused? Fuck! I know for me, for most stream content that I consume, I just put it on the TV. So anytime there's dead air, I like, I get bored. But that's why, like, <laughs> okay. 
that's why personally I love Squeaks' stream so much. Because it's him just playing like any game or speedrunning. Quote unquote speedrunning. And him just like goofing and gaffing with chat. I love it so much. That's what I want my stream to be. If they're really good, then it needs to be a speedrunner for me. Yeah, I guess. Like, it's kind of like if you watch somebody who's like really good at Valorant. Like, yeah, they're getting some epic gamer moments, but it's not like super entertaining to watch. Mainly because like I don't play Valorant. But okay, there are some times where I do like explore the Mario Kart tab on Twitch, but it doesn't happen often. Because most people who play Mario Kart on stream just play with viewers. Which is totally fine and valid, but for a new viewer, it's like not as like um, entertaining, I guess. Because if you're not an established like part of that community, I always feel left out. That's why like I usually just do like jokes and story times whenever I stream Mario Kart, because like it's just fun. And for the most part, I can like veg out and play Mario Kart and yap and talk to chat at the same time. For the most part, and you know. If you guys, as chatters, are funny enough, maybe you'll get into a TikTok clip. Maybe you'll be famous. I thought the Peach game was a short game. Okay. It said average user, it takes 10 hours. So for me, it'll probably take like 15. Be 100% in it? Wait, you could be a speedrunner. So mean who did that? <laughs> okay, these computers are cracked. And they threw the retro behind them? Man. I've already been in so many TikTok clips. I'm famous. Do you have clout like me? No, I'm not famous. I've kind of... I've peaked. I've been at like... Uh, I, I either have 3,500 or 3,600. No, that can't be right. Do I have that many TikTok? Somebody look it up right now. But, like, I haven't gained more than, like, 500 followers in the past, like, year and a half, which is kind of bad. I'm not growing. But, you know, it's fine. $60 for a 10-hour game is kind of crazy. Well, if you do the math, that means $6 per hour of entertainment. Man, why not? I don't know. I, okay, I understand that, like, prices of games is like astronomical oh wait that's all the computer matches i won okay guys let's do online now for actual gaming my opinion is like i get that yeah games are expensive but you're playing for like an you're paying for an experience which may sound like really like fruit fruit to say it's kind of like going to the theater. You're like, you're paying to experience, like, art. And, you know, I'm willing to pay for art. I'm willing to pay for an experience. Wait, I'm almost at 8K! I'm correct. Um, Daisy, because Women's History Month. But, $60? That's how much hours of work? Wait, I don't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's like depending on what state you live in, that could be nine hours or our minimum wage in Washington is like fifteen something, I think now. So that's like four hours of work. You know, that could be like your little treat for the paycheck. Wait, I think this is gonna be winter POV. Are they gonna do the clint skip? <gasps> oh my god, they're doing the clint skip, holy shit! And look there at first, it works! I, I think sixty dollars is totally valid for a game. But I can understand, like, a child cannot afford that game. You know, they gotta beg their parents to cough up 60 bucks, you know, their grocery money, for a video game. That's why I'm convinced, as we've seen the rise in prices for video games, we've seen the rise in remakes and reboots. Because they know the only consumers who are gonna be willing to buy the expensive games is the millennials. Who wanna feel something again. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Type one if you agree.
Also, I got more of my my chocolate protein shake. It literally tastes like chocolate milk, but the only bad thing is that it has a lot of cholesterol in it. Like, this much has 20% of my daily value, so that means I have to stick to my diet if I keep drinking the shakes. Oh my god, first match! Dude, okay. <laughs> I posted a TikTok clip yesterday or the day before, too. Talking about how Mario Circuit 3 is my least favorite track. Because it sucks! And then as, like... And then as... Like, the race starts, I drive on the dirt, and I say, Maybe it's the game, or maybe it's my stupid, shitty gameplay. And I got, like, one comment on YouTube being like, Yeah, it's a skill issue. This track is great. <laughs> it was so funny. Anyway. Um, prediction. If I get first, chat gets a sub, but also, I hope I don't get first. I'll give you guys five minutes to gamble. Mm-hmm. Go gamble. Do you think I will get first at all today? I hate this track. Isn't that why kids have chore money? True! I agree fully. Hi, Luigi. Can we get some yos? Hello. Oh, yeah. When I got chore money, it was like... I got like 10 bucks a month. So how long would it take me to get the Peach game? Six months? The game would have been old news by then already. Hacker, how are you doubting? I said I was gonna stream for like two hours. I looked at chat. I said I was gonna stream Marker for two hours today. That means I have like an hour and a half to get first. Remember the one stream where I got first in the first race? Remember that clip? Somebody uh, pulled up. I know it's really funny to, like, doubt your favorite streamer. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to, like, look at the fucking TV when I play the goddamn game. Wait, did I even get chore money? Wait, I didn't get chore money! I just realized I just had to do chores. It was, like, to build my character or something. I never got chore money. Oh my god, and I had to, like, beg my parents to get me new shoes for school. That makes me really sad now. You guys get chore money? You're so lucky. I was not diligent about saving money as a child. You know what? That's okay. It's best you get into debt as a child before you get all those student loans, you know? Because that's when saving money really counts. Oh my god, I'm in 10th. Actually, 9th. Watch this. Okay, I said watch this too late. I said it like two seconds after I threw the shell. <laughs> Wait, pause? Oh, the shell didn't target me. That's kind of cool. Oh my god, Jay-Z's in my lobby! Holy moly! Dude, I saw- I hate this game. You know what I also hate? People who watch this stream and don't click the fucking follow button. Follow now, and you know what? I'll smile again. Yoshi's Island, and literally I won. I used to get 10 pounds a week as a child, so it would take me six weeks to save up for it. Well, I didn't get a allowance at all, or Tormony at all. So it would have taken me forever, or rather, never. <laughs> well, my sister and I were, like, weren't super big into gaming. And then, wait, how did my sister buy a Switch? She didn't get a job. Wait. Oh, oh, okay. I remember. So, wait, what, what month did the Switch come out? Because maybe she got it for her birthday. Because the Switch came out in 2017, so I would have been a senior. My sister would have... No! 
Give me Yoshi's Island. Anyway. I would have been a senior. My sister was a sophomore. She must have spent, like, her savings to buy the Switch. Because I know I didn't, like, go have these with her on it. Because, like, I wasn't, like, a gamer at all. Google says March? Okay, maybe she got it for her birthday, then. Wait, March 2017? Wait. Yeah, she must have used, like, her, her savings to buy it. Because we didn't get chore money. But, you know, my sister didn't go to college, so it's not like she needed to, like, use her money on anything. She's smart. She, like, has been traveling a lot, and which is honestly such a slay. Oh, I messed up the line. Oh my god, I'm in third? Wait, but... Doubter? I can see you shaking in your boots. Okay, I'm not gonna yap. I'm gonna actually try hard. I'm in third, I'm in third. Why are they going to the right? Is it a faster line? That can't be. Ooh, there is a blue shell approaching! Okay, watch this, watch this. <gasps> I literally never get that skip! It wasn't as clean, but you know what? I did it. Okay, what should I do? I think I'm gonna hold the shell? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can hear the doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Okay, guys, you'll never know if I won or lost. You'll never know. God, end me. What if I actually got first? I got second. I swear to God, I got second. I'll I'll go over what happened in the race. <laughs> you did not get first. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. What if I did? What if I, like, actually did? No, I didn't. I got second. I There was a lightning bolt, which zapped both of us, right? You guys saw that. And then I got I got a coin, and then I got a red shell. And I was waiting to throw the red shell because there was a guy with a star coming from behind me. And I was like, shoot, I might as well throw it now. So the red shell hit the guy as he was crossing the finish line. Could have been me. Could have been me. Aren't savings the same as save Chormany? I guess. It just depends on where you keep your money, right? Like, you can keep your coins and your bills in a piggy bank. But depending on how old you are, you can have, like, an actual, like, bank account. And, guys, if you're gonna, like, get a savings account, yeah, of course get a savings account. But also you can get a high-interest checking. You can get a, uh, if you want to look into other investment opportunities, do it. Because putting all your money into a savings account, you're not going to, like, become a millionaire doing that. I've had a bank account since I was 12. I've had one since I was 16. I actually looked at my account date a while ago. Because I, I was trying to figure out some, like, family drama. <laughs> I have a piggy bank that I've had since I was 5. I don't know how much money is in it. When are you going to count it up? piggy banks as a kid but like 
it wasn't super important to me. Because the only time I would get change was if we'd be out shopping, my parents would just, like, give me the extra coins they got from a transaction. Like, I never got chore money. Maybe sometimes, like, the neighbors would give me coins for fun. Oh, because I love counting coins, so sometimes they would give me coins because they know I'd, li I'd like it. <laughs> but I think I stopped using a piggy bank when I was, like, 13. Because I was like, this is stupid. And then, you know, I started putting my coins into actual coin rolls. I felt so adult at 14. Which, okay, I'm not making that joke. <laughs> How are you meant to get interest from a piggy bank? You're not? I mean, I don't think little kids understand what interest is anyway. All of you guys sign up for, like... Oh, what's it called? There's the servicer where, like, if you want to buy, like, a $500 item on Amazon, you can pay, like, 50 bucks a month. Oh, I forgot what it's called. Anyway, you know what it's called. The, the buy now, pay later services, where they charge you, like, a boatload of interest, and they're a scam. And when they say they boost your credit score, they don't really boost your credit score that you want them to boost, because there's different types of credit scores. There's your FICO, there's your TransUnion. I almost said transit. <laughs> Because the credit scores you need to, like, increase to, like, buy a house, buy a car is your credit scores that you build by actually having an open credit card account. So you're not going to raise your desired credit score by, like, using those buy now, pay now services. I got into an argument with my friend about it a while ago. And they were like, no, these services are actually great because they boost my credit score. They say they do. They say they do. I'm so dumb. I mean, D.U.M. I'm D.U.M. I haven't even touched my cue cards yet, and I'm already flopping. But if you want to raise your credit score, at a minimum, just open a credit card as soon as you can. Obviously, don't spend your credit limit, because that's silly. Because what happens with a lot of new or younger people, whenever you open a credit account, they will give you a crazy high maximum. Because usually your credit limits are determined by your income. So like, let's say you're a college student with like no set job yet. They'll give you like a credit limit of like 1,500 or 2,500. Like it's crazy. Because they know you are so mature that you're going to spend that 2,500 and not pay it back on time. Because the way that credit companies and your bank will screw you and charge you more and more interest is when you don't pay your due balance in full or your minimum balance in full. Oh, why is everybody leaving? Do I smell or something? <laughs> so you're saying credit karma is a no-go. I'm not sure about credit karma exactly. But the the companies that say like, oh, we'll boost your credit score by 50 points. It's kind of like, are you sure though? Like, which credit score? Because yeah, they could boost your like, uh... I forgot what it's called. But they usually... The, the main credit scores that they look at for when you're buying a house or a car is your FICO and then your TransUnion scores. But then there's, like, other credit scores from... Because basically, they're all different, like, servicers. And every single credit score servicer has, like, a different metric in how they grade your score. For example... Wait, I should not say my credit score. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna say the actual numbers, but my credit score used to be really, really high. Because, you know, I had a job... I only used my credit card for my, like, bills, so I only spent, like, $200 a month. Ooh, Colleen! Oh, that could have been so clean. So, like, my credit score used to be really good. But now, it's not as good. <laughs> Haven't I said my credit score before? Wait, ha did I? <laughs> well, okay, it's probably been a long time since I've shared it. But, it's... Mine's, mine's, like, decent now. It's not horrible as it used to be, but now it's, like, decent. Because, you know, um, I've been paying it back gradually. Because, you know, the one month I got, like, $200 in Twitch revenue, I was able to pay off $100 on my credit card, which was pretty sick. Shoutouts, December. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so every single credit score servicer has, like, a different metric in how they rate your score. So, I know for me... The difference between my TransUnion and then my FICO credit score is literally 50 points. Because they score it differently. I'm in 8th place. 
<gasps> Wait, this is huge! Believers? Oh, wait! Oh, shit. No! <laughs> Dude, any lead I had was lost. I didn't even know that. Um, yeah, it's kind of like an unspoken rule. Like, I swear, they don't communicate anything when it comes to, like, banking or interest or financing. Is FICO lower or higher? I think all servicers have the same, like, maximum score, but the way they, like, give you points is different. I don't... I don't know how else to explain it. I think just look into, like, your... Whatever specific servicer you have, and then just go from there. You can figure out their metrics from there. Like, I know for me, like, my banking institution will, like, outline, like, um, what specific things contribute to my score. So it'll be like, oh, 20% of your score? I'm in 8th place. <laughs> Guys, I'm an educational channel, not a gaming channel. For example, like, for... I think it's my, uh... I think it's my trans union score. I don't know. It's one or the other. It'll say like 20% of your score is based on your outstanding balance. 10% is based on your account age. And 5% is based on da da da. So usually, typically, the biggest factor contributing to your score is like how much debt you have. Okay, I'm going to verify that the audio is still synced. It's synced. Your credit score tells you what to improve on? Oh, mine doesn't. I'm not, like, super hyper-focused on my credit score and, like, how good it is because, like, I know I don't have the means to, like, improve it. You know, I'm brokey. Guys, don't subscribe because you'll kill my Pokemon. So wait till next month. But even when I, like, was working a job, I didn't, like, have, like, credit alerts on. I didn't, like, have an app that, like, outlined, like, what I needed to do to improve my credit score because at the time, I was, like, 21. And like, when you're that young, your credit score can only be so high because you probably only had a credit history of like maybe maybe three to four years. <laughs> credit cards are so fun, honestly. <laughs> Dude, you speaking like that? I think you need a sugar daddy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which I kinda want one too. <gasps> Ain't no way. Thank you for the resale backer. Thank you, 23 months? That is insane. That's almost a- that's almost two years! Can we get some whackers in chat? Thank you! But don't you guys worry. If you're scared to invest, whenever I open the piece in- Whenever I open the piece in 17 Entertainment Company, I will put my stocks... I will put my company on the stock market, so yes, you can invest. I want an American Express Platinum card so bad. <laughs> Dude, is that, if that is not consumerism at its finest, I don't know what is. Oh my god. Isn't, isn't that like the cards that are like metal? I always would get so annoyed whenever customers would come up with a metal credit card because it was usually like the business card. And it would just like, the card reader wouldn't read it. It was really frustrating because I was like, I know this guy allegedly has money because you know they got a metal card, but the card reader's not working. Sorry, I like making everybody jump sometimes. Wait, what the sh I hate this game. Maybe the doubters are right. Maybe I won't get first today. Oh! 
Je... Maybe I love this game, actually. Animal Crossing, and I literally win. We need this for the believers. Wait, I want to see who actually believed. Two people, thank you. You know what, I'll say it, believers are the best chatters. Wait, it's 11.36. Make it late 11, 11 wish, everybody. Okay, I think I'll start whipping out the cue cards. Actually, start with my prepared jokes. Wait, I gotta, I gotta get my PP, P, my, sorry. <laughs> I gotta get my PBA for one of them. No, you will get first. I will hold your piece. I do L. Because it makes Luigi... You'll hold my L? Thank you. Wait, that's the wrong hand. Nintendo, fix your console. Rosalina, because it's Women's History Month. I'm in. Why is there a bug in my lobby? <laughs> Bottom left. And we're in. Give me Yoshi's Island and I literally will win. Wait, Coconut Mall? Wait! I got a huge chance now. Doubters, I bet you're shaking in your little boots. I want to get to a point in my life where I'm, like, rich enough to where I can afford, like, prescription sunglasses. Not the ones that, like, change from sunglasses to normal frames in light. I want prescription sunglasses. Because I bet all you glasses havers can relate to, like, walking out of the sun and not being able to wear sunglasses because then you can't see. Oh my god, literally most everyone picked coconut mom. <laughs> I love this lobby. Yep. Yeah. I just learned I didn't actually 100% the Peach game. My speedrun is ruined. Mods, get him. You should actually speedrun a Keelan. Maybe you can, like, get clout. Okay. I'm not gonna tell a story this run. I actually want to win. So, I'm gonna walk in. I'm doing this to prove the haters wrong. I could have gone for the skip, but you know what? It's fine. What if Peace still loses? Shut up! You're distracting me. But also, keep chatting. <laughs> I'm saying shut up a lot more, and I feel like really bad sometimes. I'm not like trying to be mean, I'm just like. I get like little bursts of frustration and then I like take it out on chat and then I like I feel guilty. <gasps> Third one! Second! Watch this. Oh, first place has a shell. I wanna get rid of it. Wrong guy.
I'm locked in. I'm genuinely surprised none of- None of my green shells, like, came back and hit me. I love it! Okay, maybe I should just stick to my jokes. <laughs> Dude, my life! Mario Kart in so long, my controller was literally dusty when I picked it up this morning. I'll start reading my cue card. <laughs> I think you're fibbing? What does that mean? What? Okay. You think I'm throwing on purpose? I would never lose on purpose. I'm like... I'm like questioning all my life decisions that made me get to this point. You know what I mean? You know... I have a college degree. Bachelor's of Science! I haven't had a, an actual career job. Should I make streaming my career? Type 1. <laughs> I'll answer your question when I start playing the game called Bobo. We'll farm it. My glasses help me see small things and I think further away. Yeah. For me, um, this eye is nearsighted and then this one is farsighted. So... I can see both close and far, but it's not super crisp. I have a slight astigmatism, so like some- If I read text without my glasses, it's like double vision. Wait, Ribbon Road! I'm actually kind of good at Ribbon Road. What's my favorite Studio Ghibli film? Okay, I'm not a Studio Ghibli girly. I remember when I was little, I used to watch Spirit Away all the time, but it like genuinely scared me. So I don't know why I kept watching it. But I rewatched Spirit Away recently, like a few months ago, and it's actually really interesting and artsy. I think it's my favorite. But it was like the only Ghibli movie I'd seen. So when I watched Spirit Away, I also watched Howl's Moving Castle for the first time. Which it was cute, but like kinda kinda mid. Don't cancel me. If anything, cancel me for my horrible gameplay. I'm in 10th. But Spirited Away, I think, is still pretty solid. Because I liked how it had themes about, like, literally eating the rich and the greedy. I thought that was pretty wicked. <laughs> Get a monocle like the rich people in the cartoons? <laughs> Dude, if I did that, you guys would make so much fun of me, you guys would bully me, like, actually. Like, imagine me streaming... Like, imagine me playing Mario Kart. Okay, I'm gonna take my glasses off for this bit. Imagine me playing Mario Kart, and I'm like, Oh! Look at this line I just did! And then I take the monocle off. Like, that... I don't think... That would be a funny bit, but like, not from like a gaming streamer. Like, it would... I don't think it'd be a good bit. Okay, I can still see I'm not like, super blind. My TV is super close to me, it's like, literally, like, four feet away from my face. I'm in 12th place, I just saw. Okay, maybe I should put my glasses back on. <laughs> this is such a stupid bit. It feels weird seeing without glasses, I know. I think I look kind of silly without them. I don't like how my face looks. And I'm not saying that to be self-conscious, it's just like... I like my glasses because they're larger frames, so it makes my features look larger. And I think I look cute with frames on. And then also my frames block my eyebrows. Because I got really big eyebrows. Watch this. First place incoming. 
That says a number one, right? I can't see. It said one, right? It said first? No, it said tenth. <laughs> Dude, how am I- I have one more hour to get first. Believers, do not worry. Have no fear. Peace in his ear. Man, I forgot how much I love the Mario Kart streams. Genuinely. But you know, doing them this often makes it special. You know what else is pretty special? Subscribing. Because guys, we are an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5, skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for real prime. Where is it? Click subscribe, see if you have a sub available. Also, if you subscribe, you can um, kill my Pokemon in the Nuzlocke run, so don't do that. Do not subscribe today. Save it for tomorrow. Get boomed. Subscribe, but also don't subscribe. We're back in. Ooh, it chose mine! Little known fact, Realm of Auntie, nobody knows. So you know what? Maybe I have a chance. Okay, should I do my first story for the day? Okay. <laughs> I have like uh, two fours. I have six pre prepared jokes. The rest is just like philosophical stuff. <clears throat> no items in Setio? I've been doing a lot more computer gaming. I've been doing a lot of Supermarket Simulator for the Peace Lock this year. I've been, you know, playing on my uh, PBA. So I've been using my fingers a lot for WASD. And I didn't grow up playing games on the computer. Like, I'm a, I'm a Wii child. So I grew up with consoles and controllers only. So it's really weird and hard getting used to, like, using my fingers in that way. That... This morning, after I was doing grocery shopping, like, I was carrying my bag of groceries. I was like, oh my god. My fingers hurt so much. You know, I don't have a girlfriend. What's going on? And I was like, dude, it's all the gaming I've been doing. <laughs> like, my fingers are literally sore. I may need to get, like, a finger brace or something. You know, people say streaming isn't a hard job, but, you know, I'm getting hurt on the job. I may need to file, like, an L and I claim. I don't know. It's funny, because you said you're doing a lot of laptop gaming, and you listed off two games. Well, I was gonna say Baldur's Gate, but I've only played like six hours, because my friend refuses to play with me anymore. It makes me really sad. And you know, I was just gonna bang the vampire guy! Now I can't finish the story, because we're doing multiplayer, and I don't want to start the story over again. Huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, the chain chomps are scary. Hell, friend, I know, right? Well, it's mainly because... Okay. They get hyper fixated with games super easily, so they played, like... I think a hundred hours of Baldur's Gate? With, like, single player and then also with their other friends? So by the time they started playing with me, like... They were like, I'm bored of this. I'm sorry, peace in. Fourth place, I'll take it. Is it the same friend who forgot your birthday? No. I have no idea what game Baldur's Gate is, and it concerns me. Uh, if you don't know, you don't gotta know. All I gotta know is that people were doing, like, Smash Any% percent runs on Twitch, and it was, like, really... It was a really fun meta. Sunshine Airport, and I literally win. Mm-hmm. Dude, I was gonna comment. Who, Bobo? 
I swear, it's like the most parasocial viewer. Because they're always trying to figure out which who is who in my little stories. What if they're all like imaginary and I'm just making them up in my head? Like, you know how there's like people on TikTok who are authors and they were like, oh my god, the craziest thing happened to me. And then they're literally just telling the plot of their book that they're launching, like on Amazon. Like, what if what if all my stories are fake? Guys, I'm gonna be an actor. Well. <laughs> Not Sunshiner, but I'm gonna lose. Oh wait, this is the easiest Mario track. I thought it track if they forgot your birthday. <laughs> yeah, maybe this friend just doesn't like me. <laughs> nah, who would like me, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I used to like pity farm so much. I also was like such a huge contrarian too when I was younger. Like, I would like, like, debating and arguing with people. And I think it's because, like, I was super shy and reserved. So people were always really surprised when I became, like, more, like, standoffish and debating with them. But I'm convinced it's because so much of my life, I didn't, like, have a voice. Like, I was kind of shut down all the time. So as I became, like, teenager and as an adult, you know, I'm not scared to speak my opinion anymore. I don't care. You know, I have a voice, I might as well use it. And yes, maybe some people don't like me, but you know what? That's fine. They don't gotta be in my life anyway. <laughs> I was just feeling mean. Oh my god, I'm in second? Wait. Fuck. I mean, frick. Dude, I was in second! This is karma. Oh, I got somebody. <laughs> How am I in seventh? This is not looking good for the- It looks like she is literally having a panic attack. She is hyperventilating on the racetrack. Yeah, I need to like genuinely... Ooh, DK Jungle? I meant to pick Coconut Mall, but I'm also gonna DK Jungle. Watch this, guys. I'm gonna win. Mm-hmm. Man, time is flying. We're already an hour in a stream? It does not feel like an hour. It feels like 10. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, I have two ideas for future Mario Kart streams. Reset if I don't get first, where I play through all 48 tracks. And if I don't get first, computers, I reset. Pokemon Ball! And stream ends when I get first in online three times in a row. Which, that one could be an actual subathon. <laughs> Because any time, any time I get first in online, it's like downhill right after. Mainly because I'm like, oh my god, I got first and I get so excited. But you know what, Coconut Mall. Or another idea. Instead of doing th first three times in a row in online, I do first three times in a row with viewer lobbies. Which could be easier, but also more difficult. Because then you guys would obviously target me. 
I would cry if I did that challenge, but wouldn't it be like really fun? And like, just because you try the challenge doesn't mean you have to beat it. It could be a learning experience. Okay, not too bad, Fib. Saved it. <gasps> I went down the down escalator, oh my god. So silly. I hit the guy that wasn't first. Yo! Guys? Hold. I don't know what that sound was. Don't look into it. I'm throwing the red shell just because. Hopefully it'll hit him. Yo! Look at this. Guys? Stay the fuck away from me! <laughs> I had it. I mean, there was nothing I could have done to block it. Like, the horn is, like, unavoidable. You got so close. I know. I know. All the believers on the edge of their seats, like, oh my- Jumping up and down. Do I only watch streamers on YouTube? No? Oh, you mean like their YouTube highlights? Well, I guess there's multiple interpretations. I watch some YouTube streamers. By that, I mean just Ludwig. Sometimes Doug Doug, because like... Finding streamers on YouTube is harder, but I do like how the streams actually show in the sub feed. But I don't always get notifications for YouTube live streams. So like by the time I find a YouTube stream, they're like an hour in. Because when you turn notifs on, for YouTube channels, it gives you notifications for all their content. So like their short sometimes, their actual long form, and their streams. And it's like, I don't want to get pinged every time they upload a short. It'd be cool if you could like filter the note of time. And then I usually just watch like highlights of streams. Oh, which was mine! It depends on the streamer. Like, if it's a streamer who typically does content that they edit down for a YouTube video, then I will watch the edited version. But if it's a streamer who doesn't do YouTube content, then I will watch the actual stream more likely. When Peace becomes a YouTube streamer? No. Then you guys wouldn't have your little emotes. And also, whenever you have channel memberships on YouTube, you can't use the emotes in other chats, like on Twitch. So you can't be putting Peace to you in other chats. Oh, that was an insane clutch. Wait, guys, first place? In Serio, we both got coins. That's kind of a dub. No, my lines were so good! I would only stream on YouTube if I got a deal, and YouTube, like, basically has looted that they're no longer doing contract deals anymore, so... For streamers. So guys, it's not happening. Greedy. The final lap. Oh, that was a horrible line I did.
I heard a blue shell. <gasps> Wait, I got another- oh my- what am I doing? I got another star. I'll take a six. At least she's happy. If Rosalina's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> you know what I generally think the problem is? I've been doing so much computer gaming, I don't know how to hold a controller anymore. I've been holding it like this. Pressing the, the A and B like I do WSD. It's not working. get a mirror online okay I might actually have to focus on this one <laughs> If it's a beetle, you can get rid of it. But if it's a spider, take it outside. So this morning, I get ready to go wash up, and in the tub, there's a daddy long leg. <laughs> it scared me a little bit, because I, I pulled back the curtain, I saw the spider, I jumped, and then I giggled. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll take this little, little guy outside. I go to pick him up, and like, one of his legs came off. And like, I didn't do it! And I was like, oh no! And then when I tried to like pick him up again, more legs came off. So I was like, oh no. <laughs> and he wasn't moving, so I think he was dead <laughs> already. So, I guess I killed a spider. Or maybe I was just found with a dead body. There's a big difference. Am I in last place? Okay, this track is really difficult to mirror. Like, it's actually throwing me off. You know what I wonder? If you do, like, mirror mode tracks, and you just flip them in your OBS, will it be, like, correct? No, but then your button inputs would still be wrong. You'd have to, like, reverse your button inputs, too. Oh, this is genuinely so difficult. Bowser Castle 3, because it's fun. I'm not super scared of bugs anymore. When I was younger, they used to creep me out. And it's because... A fly flew into my sister's ear at school. And, like, nobody believed her. So, when she got home, my mom had to, like, 
pry a dead fly out of her ear. And ever since then, this, this happened when my sister was like four. Oh, also, that was when my sister like barely talked to. So, <laughs> I don't know why they didn't believe her. Like, the few words she did say, why didn't they believe her? Anyway. So I saw my mom take out the fly of her ear. So ever since then, me and my sister are, like, really scared of bugs. <laughs> what the hell? I know, right? My sister does not like any bugs that fly. Like, anytime there's there's a, a bee, even like a honeybee, she freaks out. Which, valid. Valid. But it also can be kind of annoying when we go to, like, a garden or something. But otherwise, bugs are pretty chill. They're not trying to hurt you. And even the poisonous ones, as long as you don't, like, intentionally pester them, they won't hurt you. That's so traumatic. I know, Loki. As, an, as a child, I would be, like, so annoyed with her. But, like, what, what? You can't, like, handle being outside? Like, what? But now as I'm older, I'm like, oh, that's, like, a trigger for her. I need to, like, be more understanding of that. <laughs> you know, that just comes with age and maturity. Screw you, man. Take that. That's what you get for ramming me. During Women's History Month? I never liked spiders, but I enjoy the Spider-Man movies. My friend, one weekend, wants to watch every single Spider-Man movie in one sitting with me. Because I've only seen, like, the original Spider-Man. And I barely remember the Spider-Man where he has, like, the black suit. Oh, wait, no, I've seen Into the Spider-Verse. Okay, I remember. I have seen those. But that, to me, like, doesn't really count. Because, like, isn't the whole gimmick with Spider-Man is that, like, it's about, like, interdimensional shit? Like, it's interesting, but then it's kind of, like, overplayed. So, like, I haven't, like, seen the other spider man If you don't like spiders, I don't- I do not recommend watching the 90s movie Arachnophobia. That one will give you nightmares, cause that one- I watched the movie when I was like 9. I don't know why my mom had me watch that movie. Cause I think the movie takes place in Washington State. Cause it's about like a black widow that like intentionally targets and kills the whole family basically. Wait, I spoiled it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> So that's like the movie, right? So I'm watching this as like a nine-year-old being like, Oh my god, the, the spider's gonna kill my whole family! But like, I haven't watched the movie since I was nine. So guys, do not watch the movie if you're scared of spiders. I think the warning is already in the name. I mean, some people like watch movies about like... I don't know how to make a joke. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> god damn it, I lost my lead! Watch this. It almost hit him in the air. That would have been sick. Gamers? Oh, you motherfucker! I knew you were gonna do that! God damn it. That was karma. <laughs> Not you apologizing for such an old movie? No, you- some people get, like, actually mad about it. Anytime you talk about the Titanic, like, people's YouTube comments are filled with SPOILER! SPOILER! So I- I'm like, I have to preemptively apologize. You know, everybody's too woke now, they're all so sensitive. Even though I like to be woke, I do have LGBTQIA tagged. That's so crazy. I know, they're just doing it for the meme, but also it's like... Get a better joke. You know what I mean? I have 40 more minutes to get a first place. Wait, what happens if I don't get first? What should I do? I won't do anything, because I think doing things for punishment on stream is cringe. And I- okay. I gotta think about how I word this. I gotta be careful. Okay, why is it taking forever to load? I know what I want to say now. On stream, it's not often that I will do something if something bad happens. Like, for example, if I lose the race, I do blank. 
I usually do incentives if something good happens. Like, usually if I get first to market, I will give chat a sub. And for all the other challenges I've done on stream, most of them are like, if something good happens, this will happen. Because I think it's always been kind of weird to where there's a punishment to where if you fail a challenge. Or like, if you give five subs, I will do something bad. I think it's because then you're incentivizing your viewers to like, be mean, and then also you're attracting the sadists. Like, you're attracting the viewers who like seeing you, like, in pain or something. Oh my god, first place! Clippers! Because, like, I think one of my most early challenge streams I did for Mario Kart was, like, I spin the Mario Kart challenge wheel. And some of them were, like, just difficult Mario Kart challenges. I meant to, like, pause earlier. But then I, was, I wanted to do that stream again, but then have like a punishment aspect. But I was thinking about it, I was like, maybe I should not do that. You know, I want my chat to stay wholesome, I don't want any sadists watching. Oh my god, Jacob from Twilight? Dude, the people who make the you look like so-and-so, or that person looks like so-and-so jokes, is such like, bottom of the barrel joke. It all depends on your delivery. I try my best to avoid that type of commentary, because, like, it's very basic. But, whenever somebody makes a good analogy, it does hit. If somebody makes a good one, it'll be good. I hate this game. I'm... gonna play Mario Kart until I beat it. Stream is when I get first changed the title. <laughs> Sorry, when I said that, my eyebrow literally started twitching. I had second. Can you believe that? My rank is going down. Yeah, from second to last. This is why I can't do little stories. Guys, maybe I shouldn't be a streamer. I, I think I should quit. Wait, Yoshi's Island! I literally win. Nah, I'll never quit. Unless? Just kidding. I feel like a lot of streamers quit after year two. But before year three. So guys... You just gotta see if I last another four months. Wait, no, five months. I streamed in August 2021. I've talked about this before, but I think why a lot of streamers quit is because they don't succeed. And if you think about it, do you think an established artist gains fame, fame and notoriety within the first five years, even? No, they get famous when they die. <laughs> so, like... You can't go into any aspiration concerning talent or skill and expect to be, like, the best in less than five years. You should do things because you want to do it, not because you want to make money, not because you want to succeed. You should just do it because it genuinely makes you happy. Oh, the music on this track goes crazy. Oh yeah, the the spider scene in Harry Potter? Dude, how Ron was scared of spiders? Oh no. I think another thing that like reinforced my uh, fear of spiders when I was younger too was Fear Factor. Because when I was younger, Fear Factor was still being aired with Joe Rogan. Which I didn't know was Joe Rogan until recently, like re-watching clips of Fear Factor. But they would have like people facing their fear of spiders and type rope walking. So they would have people in, like, tanks filled with spiders. Dude, why did you enjoy watching that show? I swear, my mom would just have us watch shows that she knew would trigger the fuck out of us. Wait. I think I'm now learning something new. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, that's for my therapist to hear. <laughs> Wait, fourth place? I'm cracked? 
You ain't trying to hit me, bozo. That's what you get for hitting them with your bullet bill. It's called karma. No, no. <laughs> First place isn't too far ahead. Getting rid of their shell? They have another shell? What the hell? Dude, just throw the red shell, man! You're in second! He has three! Yo! Pitbull! Dude, you're in second place, you have three shells, just fucking throw it! I'll say it, that guy's a jerk. And he threw him all behind him? Who's sniping? Tell me who it is. What was the strat there? And they still got second. What's up with this guy? Who's named Pablo in the chat? Okay, that, that last part of the race was genuinely frustrating. That guy had a red shell and a triple red. And he chose to throw him behind him at the end. I'm perplexed. You know who else might be confused? The people who aren't following. Because, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So, if you never click that follow button, you get cool emotes and you get to type a chat. Isn't that pretty cool? And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. That way, you don't miss a single stream. I got 30 more minutes exactly to get a first place today. Okay, this next story might be a bit embarrassing. You guys cannot, like, talk shit, okay? We gotta be very vulnerable. <laughs> also, just notice Rosalina has a silver crown. Okay, I need to think about how to word this without, like, getting in trouble. <laughs> I see so many posts online of people like, Oh, just go to the gym! Nobody's really looking at you! Don't feel self-conscious! Even though you're, like, you're exercising in public. Now, I've never been to a gym. Obviously. <laughs> but, like... I don't- okay. I don't know how to say this. I- when I'm out in public, I like looking at people. I don't stare, but I do like- do I do like a little one over of every person I see. Mainly because like, you know, I've studied art, i studied anatomy, and it's so cool like seeing all like the different types of people and body types there are in the world. So like, I'll admit it, I check people out. I- but I don't like look at their ass. I look at their whole body, because I'm a lover. <laughs> so... When they- when people say nobody's checking you out at the gym, it's only me. And I'm not, like, trying to be weird. It's just- I just appreciate all body types. The reason I bring this up is because you ever be in public sometimes and then you see some guy with, like, their fly down? Or, like, any person with their fly down. And it's kind of like, you obviously can't tell somebody that their fly is down. Because then you're, you're admitting that you're looking at them, right? Oh my god, what am I doing? Get out of my way! 
<laughs> Sorry, I had a moment of frustration. So it's like, you you just let them walk around to fly open, right? That's the only thing you can do. But then it's like, you think that this person is like gross for having their fly open, but it's probably just an accident. There was one time where I probably should have said something. I was working at my food service job, and there was this guy. His pants were kind of sagging, but I only saw like the front side of him, right? And then he asked for a water cup. He obviously looked unhoused, but you know, it's whatever. I'll give him a water cup. So as he turns around, his whole ass is out. <laughs> and like the whole time I'm like getting the cup ready with him for water, all the other customers in the lobby are like giving me the stink eye and I'm like, oh my god, why? And then I saw his ass. So I was like, oh, am I like the bad guy now? Like, <laughs> anyway, that's my, don't cancel me. Sorry, my sister texted me. <clears throat> I think I did wake her up. That's why, like, I don't wear pants that have zippers anymore. Also, like, I don't wear jeans as much anymore either, because they're too tight. They're also, like, not breathable. So, if I don't wear pants that don't have zippers, then nobody can catch me with my fly down. I don't like any of the track options. Not this one either. Watch this. First place incoming. Something that I will do when I'm in public is if I see a child and the child stares at me, I will stare back with a passion. I don't care if the kid thinks I'm creepy. I just want to win the little staring contest. And usually, if the stare lasts for more than 10 seconds, I'll wave. And then the kid will wave back and it's really sweet and cute. But kids just have no shame in staring at you. And I don't think I look that weird. Okay, granted, I'd still wear a mask in public because I'm woke. But, you know, why they stick to me? I just think it's a power move to keep staring back. Also, thank you for the follow! Plus one! Can we get some yo's? Hello. I remember I was at the bus stop a while ago, and it's, it's by a busy road, so there was this one kid in the backseat of the car, and he was stopped at the stoplight, and he just kept staring at me. He just kept on staring, and I kept staring back. <laughs> and apparently this was like a really long red light, because it had been like 15 seconds at this point. And I finally waved at the kid, and then he smiled and waved back. It was really cute. <laughs> oh no, kids are adorable, because you know, they're so honest, they're so blunt. Oh, that could have been a two for one. Eight? No way. Okay, guys, be honest. Should I try and be a streamer still, or just, like, fully commit to stand-up? Type 1 for both. <laughs> Type 2 if you're a watcher. <laughs> Why am I getting a horn? <gasps> Wait, I stole the horn from somebody. <laughs> I wonder who.
Wait, were they camping? <laughs> were they camping at the finish line? Who's in my lobby? Who's in here? Dude, I'm so glad I'm small because I won't get streams tonight. I dread the day. I dread the day if I become famous and then it's just filled with snipers. Have you guys seen the XQC clip where he's playing Mario Kart? And then he's like, if you're a sniper, dude, wait at the starting line. And then the race starts and literally everybody is at the starting line, like just hopping in front of him. It's the funniest shit. But that's his reality. And people say streaming isn't a real job. Wait, why is my camera lagging? Oh, it's fine now. I don't know how to fix it. Wait, maybe this will fix it. Cheap, cheap, bitch! Wait, I have a chance. I have a chance. Guys, this could be a dub. Okay, I changed my camera to 60 FPS. I had it at buffer mode. Stream ends when I get first. Editor, cut this out unless I get first. Watch this. I'm not gonna talk. I'm dialed in. This is my track to win. Ooh, I got so lucky, I almost got hit by a shell. Okay, second? Okay. I just want to get rid of his item. Make him shake in his boots. First and second both up coins. Now the strat is you hold the coin. That way if you get ghosted, you don't lose your protection item. I have a mushroom, not ideal. So next item box, redeem the coin, get rid of the mushroom. Why did I redeem the mushroom? Wait till I get a little bit closer. <laughs> Take that, bozo. has a red shell. What am I doing? Third? Pretty good for a piece in stream. Let's be honest. Man, I, I don't know how else I could have done that. Uh, maybe if I didn't accidentally redeem the mushroom, I could have saved it for a skip. Yeah. I made a few silly mistakes that attempt, but you know what? I'll take a third, I'll take it. I got 20 more minutes to get first. Jackson in my lobby. I don't appreciate that. So 
many EU racers. First place, Clipper? Stream ends when I get first. I didn't boost. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Green shell and a coin, not an ideal lineup. But still fine. As long as you have one protection item, I think you're fine. First also has a shell. Yo, okay. Okay, help first and second for almost a whole lap. Kinda big. Okay, I need to get away from you, man. <laughs> I hear blue shell. Back and first. Okay. I was gonna tell a silly story this race, but no, I'm not gonna. No, it's fine, it's fine. I have a decent lead. Okay, okay. Guys, the final stretch. A whole lap holding basically first. I have a shell on a coin, not ideal, but you know what? Still one protection item is fine. <laughs> I got really lucky with the fireball in the iron ball rotations. The first two laps. Okay, I notice when I dial in, I hunch my shoulders. I need to... Okay, wait, this could be fine. No, come on! I got so unlucky. It's because when I got, when the lightning bolt hit, I was the only one who was past the item box. That could have been so good for me. Yeah, cause that means the guy in second, cause he crossed the finish line with a shell, cause he threw it right behind him and he crossed the finish line. That means they were like far enough behind me to where they were still leaving to get into the item. Man, I did what I could. I was robbed. I guess people don't like the Madrid track. Two hundred CC. In the bag. And I'm spawning at the store. How <laughs> you sp you spun out? Oh my god. I need to stop gloating. It's 200 TC. We're gaming. Oh, why did the red shell not target me? Weird. Take that, bozo. First place. Flippers. You know what to do. Stream ends when I get first. P 
huge horn in first. Actually, and above them, that could be interesting. And what's nice is that this truck is pretty short, so even if a blue shell is thrown, I have a protection item. And if there's another blue shell, I should be fine. The only thing that can like really hurt me right now is a lightning bolt. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, I swear to god I don't script my streams. That was crazy, actually. Oh my goodness. No! I didn't redeem fast enough! I hate this stupid game. Dude, I literally had it! If I would've- if I would've redeemed faster... It's because, like, I get really scared spamming, like, the redeem item button when it's going through the carousel. Because, like, if I accidentally redeem it, I'm cooked, right? But I think... Ugh, I had a coin and a banana. God damn it. I got so close twice, though! That- you know what that means? I'm past the hump of I'm bad and I'm on my peak. If it's Coconut Mall, I'm gonna win. Because if I spawn at the star... I don't like this track. I got 12 minutes left to get first. Since I've been gaming, I'll tell a funny story this track. Who's ready for a funny story? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, you guys get a story this race. So as some chatters know, I've been having some heart issues, but I waited to tell the story because I don't want to scare you guys. All my tests are back. My heart is healthy, everybody. So anyway. About a month ago, I had to get an EKG done, which is the test where they, like, measure your heart, like, right, and, like, the little spiky shapes your heart makes when it pumps. So you have to, like, it's like these little gel sticky pads with all these cords and cables. And <laughs> so I had to get a normal EKG, and then I had to do a treadmill test. So I had to have an EKG hooked up to me as I ran a treadmill. So it was... <laughs> Okay, I would like to preface, I did not say this in the nurse's room, okay? So, the nurse was like, okay, the, the pads are gonna be really cold. And I was like, okay. And she put the EKG pads on, and I like audibly giggled, because they were like so cold. And then the second time when I went in for the treadmill test, the nurse was like, okay, lift up your shirt. And I literally thought in my head, I did not say this out loud to preface. I thought, I thought in my head, I was like, damn, it's been a long time since somebody has told me to lift up my shirt. <laughs> and I had to hold back with all my will and power to not say that out loud. I, <laughs> it would have been so bad if I did. But granted, the nurse was like really cute though, so like maybe it, like the Riz could have worked, you know what I mean? Anyway, it, it made my friends laugh when I told them the story. God, please, I hate Mario Kart. What the hell? What happened to me? I... I give up. What I've come to learn is when I shut up, I am so good at Mario Kart. Okay, watch this. That could have been cleaner. And now I'm squeaky clean.
Not last. I have nine minutes. Have you guys seen the movie Parasite? I got so annoyed at my sister last night. Because it was going to be me and my roommate watching Parasite together. Because I was like, hey, have you seen Parasite? And they were like, oh my god, no, I haven't. I was like, oh my god, you need to watch it. I have it on YouTube. So we boot up the movie downstairs in the living room. We get a text from my sister in the group chat. She's like, what are you guys watching? And we're like, oh shit, oh no. Because my sister had to leave for work in like an hour and a half. So like we cannot finish a two hour movie in an hour and a half because we're not watching it at two times speed. So we're like, oh no. And I looked at my room and I was like, you do not tell her what we're watching. We'll just press play and hope she goes back to sleep. And then I hear the thump, thump, thump of her slippers going down the stairs. And I'm like, oh no, oh no. And she's like, what are you guys watching? And I'm like, Parasite? And she's like, oh, I want to watch it. And I'm like, please, no, go back to sleep. And she's like, no, I want to watch it. We get not, a, not even a minute in. Not even the opening credits are done. And she's like, actually, I don't want to watch this movie because we're not going to finish it. And I'm like, yeah. That's why I told you. I don't want you to watch it now. <laughs> and then we bickered for like five minutes, deciding if we should watch the movie or not. And then I was like, just give me the fucking remote. I'm gonna press play. And then I press play. And then we watched an hour of the movie. Cause like Parasite, if you haven't seen it, it's one of those slow burn movies. Like the, like shit happens in like the last 10 minutes. Like that type of slow burn. But Lolita, is insane. Pretty good for a foreign film. Like, if Parasite is your first foreign film, it's definitely a good one to be your first. To break your foreign film virginity. <laughs> but anyway. Because, like, my sister has seen Parasite. She's already seen it. So now my poor roommate, he's only seen the first hour. So now, like, the movie's not gonna hit the same as if he watched all of it in one sitting. Anyway, that was my little drama from yesterday. So guys, that was actually the drama that I'm talking about. Why'd I throw that behind me? Okay, wait, I'm in fifth. Okay. Wait. I'm not totally flopping. Whoa, why why do you throw the retro behind him? That's kind of a jerk move. Third place? Okay. Wait, Shy Gun Falls is one of my better tracks I'm now remembering. It genuinely is. Second? Hold the levers? Oh, I should have thrown the red shell and held the banana behind me. That would have been the smarter thing to do, but at least I still have a protection item. Oh, first one for the skip. Dang, ain't no way I'm catching up. Unless... Jackass! <laughs> it's the same guy! He threw three red shells when he crossed the finish line too! In the Madrid track! You've gotta be a sniper. Who is it? Type one. If you're Pablo, type one. Or it's Papa. Papa. I don't know what the, who that guy is. I don't want to say his name. Man, that's like my what? I think that's my third second today. Sunshine Airport, and I literally win. I literally will win. It's you, Kobobo. Mods ban Kobobo. Guys, this is my final race of the day. Can I get first in two hours? Technically an hour and a half. My my last race. This is my last one. <laughs> I wish I could type one, but I'm still stuck in 150cc tracks online. No, Akilin? Take this L. <gasps> Wait! Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause. I can, I can for sure win this. 
Guys, get ready to die, Pug. I'm dialed in. Th this is me turning the dial on. <laughs> Wait, that's actually a funny bit. I'll write that one down. Huh, nobody else went for the upper track. You Staying on the upper path is a huge indicator of skill, allegedly. Jackass. Stop, it's the same guy! And the stream. Look at me, I'm so good at Mario Kart. My lines are so good. What is good is that everybody is really close together. Most everyone is like one item away from totally flopping. Why didn't I trick? So look, now I'm in fourth. Lines are so good. Oh my god, Toadhead is so far behind. <laughs> Give me a bull bill. Me right now, freaking out inside my head. My heart is actually pumping right now. Or it should be pumping, it's thumping <laughs> in my chest. Wait, wait, wait. For the fans, one more. One more. Yoshi's Island? I've gotten so many first plays playing Yoshi Island. Also, I have to run an ad, non-subs, I'm very sorry, but subscribe if you want to miss this, or if you don't want to miss the final race. Peace and lied. Nobody died. If it's Yoshi's Island, legitimately, I'm not even joking, I have a huge chance. Yoshi's Island is literally the perfect track for my build. Or, that's just what chat tells me whenever I win. I'm gonna dial myself in. I'm not gonna talk either. I'm gonna race this race like my life depends on it. I'm literally 
literally the person who enabled the bridge. That was such a jerk move. I did the corner too tight. Oh, why did I throw that behind me? Oopsie. I was feeling evil. Third place? Okay. That's the outro song. I got third. I tried my best. I didn't have a good atom rotation. My lines weren't super clean. But still third? Pretty good for a peace and race. Guys. That was our last race of the day. Did I get first? No. I got so many second places, though, genuinely. I got so many. I tried my best. And you know what? Sometimes... You don't succeed. But... You keep try, try, trying again. Short stream. I actually have to update my Switch. Maybe that could be why? Maybe that could be why it's taking the L. So... Let's wrap up stream here for today and do some calligraphy because we did get a resub today. So if you use your channel points or subscribe, I will write your name. Dang, I did. Okay, let's be honest. We're not having played for like two or three weeks. I played like decently. You guys know the drill. Hmm, what music should we do today? Peace, I too. Hmm. Your main main reason for a short stream today is because I want to edit today. I need to get to work. Do we have any redeemers? Anybody? I also want to play some Supermarket Simulator. <laughs> I'll be honest, that's part of the reason too. While I'm getting the camera set up, make sure you are following my offline social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. TikTok for daily clips, Instagram for rare photos, and then Twitter for funny jokes. Haha. -ha. Wow, there's two of me.
the voice. I hate how I look in 30 frames per second. It annoys me. Once again, thank you, Hacker, for the 23-month resub. Almost two years. I appreciate it. Thank you. For your continued support. Do we have anybody else who wants to name rights and you can use your channel points? Or subscribe. But also, don't subscribe. Because you can kill my Pokemon tomorrow. This is your last call? I got through most of my little jokes I had pre-written. I thought the EKJ one was pretty funny. I'll be honest. Thank you, Kobobo. Don't worry, next time I'll get a dub. I'll get a dub next time. I just gotta practice. Also, this is my TV remote. Throwing so you don't have to gift? Okay. I'll be honest. I did not do that today. Because normally for Mario Kart, you know, I practice with computers and I crush. But when I was doing computers, I was also throwing. Like, okay, not on purpose, but like I was playing horribly. I think genuinely because I was not joking when I say I've been playing too many computer games. Because like holding the controller felt really weird today. Like, I haven't touched the Pro Controller in three weeks. I think I was, like, actually rusty. But you know what? Surprisingly, I did get so many second places. And the only reason why I had second places for those races is item usage could have been better. Which, I do know the proper strats for item usage now. And also, some of the lines were messy, too. So, I need to get used to the controller again. Too much peace lock streams. Like, I was not joking when I said my fingers are sore. Like, when I go like this, it kind of hurts. I might have carpal tunnel. Add that to the list of disabilities. Anyway, guys. Yeah, I'm playing on my uh, PBA too much. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, the GBA bit is the best bit I've ever written. <laughs> well, look at this curl. Cute. Guys, short stream today, but do not worry. I'll be back tomorrow with more Peace Love 2024. Tomorrow, the plan is simple. Beating the fourth gym. Fingers are not crossed. I'll beat it tomorrow. And then exploring as much of Pokemon as I can. Friday, subscriber-only stream. I don't know what I want to do. You know what? Maybe Mario Party and maybe Mario Kart. It's been a while since we've done Mario Party. So we'll do that on Friday. Afternoon stream as usual. And then I might stream Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to stream Sunday because it feels weird streaming on Easter. Doing a non-Easter thing. But I for sure will stream Monday April Fool's. Which, it'll be a fun one. So guys, thank you for watching. Any chatters, lurkers? And once again, thank you, Hacker, for your almost two-year resub. Thank you. I will see you guys tomorrow. If you want something to watch right now, most recent YouTube video. I tried drawing Pokemon from memory. That's the wrong command. The second link is the one you click. But also make sure you're subscribed to the channels anyway. I have a weekly stream highlights channel for the main. And then daily stream clips on the, cl on the clips channel. Subscribe to both. I need the clout. And your support. Smile. Um, once again, thank you for watching. I know I'm not the best gamer. But I hope you guys still have fun watching, chit-chatting, and goofing and gapping. I know I have fun too. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.
Final 30 seconds, any final words, guys? You know what I'm also surprised about? Nobody said a banned word today. You guys usually wild out during Mario Kart, but nobody said a bad word. <laughs> I'm proud of you guys. Okay. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Once again, thank you, Hacker, for the resub. And we got a follow from Danny. Thank you for the follow. Have a good night. Or not, have a good night. Have a good rest of your day. It's only 1 p.m. for me. Have a good one, guys.